Hi guys, welcome to my show. My name is Maranata Abutu and I am the host and producer of Brave with Mara podcast. If you are seeing my face for the first time, please do not make me your laugh by hitting on the subscription button and also click on the notification bell so that anytime I upload new videos, you will be among the first persons to know. So today's show, I will be talking about how my week went, which means that this podcast today is going to be really short. We'll come up on the short break. We'll get a jump into the conversation. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. Like I explained, to be frank with you, I'm not even supposed to do a podcast today. But because I didn't want to leave this place there with another apology explaining why what happened happened and all that, I decided, oh, why not just come on here and tell you guys, my people, what has been going on and the updates with me. So, for so many of you that don't know, I have an eye defect and I have been using glasses for, I think since I was in my G, GS2 or GS3. Yes, before I got into boarding house, I was using glasses, but it wasn't as serious then until I think my SS2. And for some reason, I stopped using glasses in my final year in engineering. So for the past almost five years, I haven't used glasses. So last week, um, I started noticing that, well, for a while now, since last year, I started noticing that my eyesight has been getting a bit bad. Um, and because I used this term a lot, I figured, wait, I think I need to go back on photochromic lens. But I was worried that, you know that thing where you know that it's done evil. Because tell me why I stopped using glasses. Why, why did I do this? I did it because um, when I went back for my refraction, I think that the hospital I went to gave me a wrong prescription. I have astigmatism, meaning that I have issues um, with even reading normally. And then because of my sensitivity to light, it meant that working with laptops kind of made my eyesight a bit deteriorated. So since last year or beginning of this year, I started noticing that I would start tearing up or my eyes would start itching or I was just having constant migraines and I have decided that you know what this month I'm going to make it a point of duty to go for checks my last episode I was telling you guys how you should not allow um, whatever issues you're having or feeling with your body to get to the extreme before you go for checkup but look at me I haven't gone to a hospital for eye check in five years over five years so from Friday when I went to the hospital up until Monday, I couldn't see anything. And you guys know that I usually record my episodes on Sundays. Um, so the episode I was supposed to have, I couldn't even see texts on my phone to text my guest back that yo we. I'm funny. We've been moving that his episode for like we've moved this episode like two weeks now. This should be like the third week that we are um, skipping his episode or having to reschedule his episode but yo yo i have never appreciated my sight i have never appreciated my sight as much as i appreciated it this past couple of weeks hey god i said i couldn't see jack if somebody sends me text i may not even make out who the person is or what the person is saying i have to be calling my neighbors or asking my partner to read out things for me it was crazy do you know what I was thinking the entire time? What if I had gotten blind? Like up until yesterday, I still went to the hospital yesterday. We were able to finalize on because I had to do refraction a couple of times. We were able to finalize on my correct lens and all of that. And I will be getting my new glasses prescription in two weeks. It said two or three weeks. And my question today was, what if <laughs> I was actually actually go blind and I cannot see? <laughs> But yeah, I understand it's a big hospital and a lot of persons were also in need, like me. But thankfully, I'm able to see right now. Um, so I just started to come on here and give you guys that update that yo, I have not been seeing. And please don't be like me. Go for checkup. If you have glasses, don't dump your glasses because the glasses are just giving you more migraines. <laughs> Try and go for another check and then again, I feel like sometimes the reason why we become lackadaisical with these things is because of expenses. If you have a lot of things to do, you can just be ruling it off as, 
oh fine i can maybe with the eyes i can because most times here i used to wear dark shades to work on my laptop or and my laptop will still be on night mode most of the time i don't even think i ever take my um, screen off night mode both my monitor my laptop or my phone so yeah that's that's on that and then what again did i say i wanted to say Oh yes, so there was a discourse on Twitter. And my eyes got better yesterday, Tuesday. I'm recording this episode on a Wednesday. Um, and then I found out that there was a discourse that had been ongoing for like two days. And it is still the issue of, if you guys remember my fraud money episode where I was talking about how Yahoo money has now become acceptable as a legitimate money source and whatnot and this discussion is that is, is sort of appraising yahoo boys or how the hk kingdom works and i'm like what the hell are we doing like has the society gotten so bad so terrible that we're now comparing yahoo boys to tech tech people hey god like i'm still in shock even as i'm saying this thing i'm in shock and like, how can you say that the only reason why yahoo keeps prospering is because um, you can see the working I saw a comment that somebody said that we sit down on our privileged high horse and we are complaining I'm not from a rich home in case you don't know I am not from a rich home I have never I don't say I use the word never I am not privileged meaning that maybe when I was born yes I was but over the years I can remember really from my junior primary school till now Things have not been rosy for my family. So it is not even a thing of, oh, you're just being judgmental. Or you just think that um, that there's a, a form of Yahoo that is not bad. One form of Yahoo is bad, the other form of Yahoo is not bad. And Yahoo is hard work and whatnot. Honestly, I don't know where we are headed. And I think that people just see it as an easy means of getting money. Or an easy means of making money. Because there's no way you can tell me that and people that are from Ikorodu or people that are from Ajegunle, they don't know what, what, what. They have seen bad life, what and what and what. It just doesn't make sense. If you keep pushing this narrative to the younger generations, 14, 15, 16, I was at, at that age too. I don't think that we had a lot of money. There were people who were doing hookup and whatnot. I could have also done the same thing if I was looking for a quick way of making cash. Which is the same thing I would say that I think that people are lazy and people no longer want to work hard because they think that if you're working hard, you're a fool if there is an easy way of making money and you're not doing it. And which is not even to say that people that are doing hookup is easy for them. It's just, I know that there's a lot of hard work to be frank. People, you having to, I'm not even shaming or whatever, but I'm saying that it is an easy way out. There are other things you can do with your life. My one of my friends who owns a store just called me a couple of hours ago and she was complaining bitterly. You see, what, these young people that come into the shop, you'll find out that most of them are now ashamed to live earnestly or to work hard because their peers are going to be laughing at them. So I just think that people no longer want to work earnestly and people are ashamed, which is what I was saying in that last episode. So that me where they work hard now, you guys will be looking at me like, oh, you are poor, you can't afford this, you can't afford that. But now, how can you afford the life that you're living by living the way you are? So, I don't know. It's just crazy. I feel like there are job opportunities to take people on, but people are now lazy to do hard work, and most of them are being peer pressured into doing Yahoo or into... Because, again, I say, how can a 16-year-old and an 18-year-old person be following an egg bomb? who is riding a Lexus or who is, you know, who lives in a big house, you are envying that person. On to which way? Do you understand? So I just think that it is us in society who keep encouraging this person. So please, again, my eyesight is not well. It's not completely well. And I'm looking into a bright light. So I did not intend for this episode to be long. Um, hopefully by next week, um, it will be a lot better and I would have we would have our guest back on the show. So please, I beg you guys, if you are not listening on Spotify, please listen and follow on Spotify. Also watch and subscribe on the YouTube. Please comment, like, and share. 
on to your next week. Bye-bye.